Has there been a player like Troy Polamalu? Rarely. That's right, my friends. Good dude, good player. Somehow at safety for a dozen seasons, he seemed to flow to the ball. I mean, he flew between players to make tackles. He kind of flowed, and then he forced a fumble. He granted an interception. Number 43 in black and gold. He just flowed. Like that interception pick six to seal the 2008 AFC title game. That was a flow. He flowed to the ball, and he flowed into the end zone. And then there was the hair. I mean, the hair certainly flowed. And we're all jealous of that hair, Troy. All right? just, I just thought I'd tell you that. Some of us wish we had saved ours. First round pick in 2003 out of USC. 15 and one season in 2004. Super Bowl champs in 2005. Super Bowl champs in 2008. And the Super Bowl in 2010, when he was the Defensive Player of the Year. And don't ever overlook Walter Payton, Man of the Year that season. Uh, Walter, who was his idol when he was a young boy growing up in Southern California. Eight-time Pro Bowler, all-decade team in the 2000s. And tonight, in case you're counting at home or here, one of three... Hall of Famers from the Steelers. You're counting. To present Troy Palomalo, a Hall of Famer himself, as a defensive back and a legendary defensive coordinator in person, Dick LeBeau. Since the told you gotta get in there, I want you to get us off this field and win this game. <laughs> was on the field. He went from point A to point B, really, literally faster than the speeding bullet. <laughs> made me start to believe that there's uh, not too much that we can ask this guy to do, but he's not going to do it. Over 12 standout seasons, all of them with the Steelers, Troy Palomalu more than delivered. <laughs> He earned eight Pro Bowl and four first-team All-Pro selections, led the Steelers to two Super Bowl titles, and redefined the strong safety position. You can't coach that. The first time I saw Troy move, I said, wow, <laughs> he's got everything. Size, speed, quickness, personality, intelligence. Literally, a coach's dream. In 2010, Paul Mollick scaled new heights as the defensive player of the year, a new peak in a career filled with them. I said early on, this guy's going to go to the Hall of Fame, and he's going to go in the first opportunity that arises. Paul Mollick retired in 2015 with 755 career tackles, 32 interceptions, and five touchdowns, leaving his mark on the field in the locker room. Troy is a very concerning